Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Robin. I'm a tarot reader and channeler. And this is going to be your peak to the week from the 12th to the 18th of August, 2024. So, we will start off with a theme for the week that you will be exploring. Then we will look at what's working in your favor energetically, what the challenge may be, the outcome, and a message from spirit. So, let's have a look. Aries. Was Aries exploring this week? Okay. Love. <laughs> You're exploring love. Now, this is typically, uh, traditionally, this would be the lover's card, but it's the Good Tarot deck by Colin Baron Reed. Okay. And this card is all about oneness. Okay. Connection. Opposing forces coming together and understanding their qualities and their contributions. Understanding the weave of consciousness and this great oneness that we are all interconnected with. So let's see how that pans out for you with your tarot. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a three of swords that jumped out, by the way. Which is usually quite a sad card, so... Let's find out for you, Aries, what's going on. Okay, at the base of your reading, you start off, wow, you've got the fountain card. Okay, this is a fountain deck, and there's only one, this is only one kind of unique extra card that they have in the deck. It's about being in both places at once, both spheres of life, both dimensions at once, in that place in between, um, physical reality, spiritual reality, seeing beyond the veil, having uh, that midway neutral standpoint to be able to manipulate energy all the way around you, it's an extraordinary card, meaning that you are pretty extraordinary. If you have these two cards together, you really are working with the most creative energies in the universe because you're working with the spirit and you're working with with love. Desire. Nine of Cups. You want your wish fulfillment. Okay. So you may be seeing all of this stuff. You may be um, graduating to, to ascension of your consciousness, right? Um, and then bringing it back down to earth and kind of going, okay, but what is it that I desire in this physical reality as well as my connection to my spiritual self and my path? What's working in your favor is the moon. So what Spirit here is saying, it's best not to know, okay? What may appear do, doom, gloomy and doomful is actually may not appear that way. So what's working in your favor is being open to the uncertainty and kind of going, all right, I'll take, I'll just, I'll go with the flow. I understand that everything is interconnected. I understand my place in the contribution of this life, right, and everybody else, and therefore, I am going to work with the tides, I'm going to move with the flow, regardless of what it may appear like in the spectrum. This is very spiritual. Okay, the challenge for the week is a seven of swords. Okay, so the, the, the mindset might be trying to steal you away a little bit, steal you away from this um, uh, amazing kind of spiritual ascension that you're kind of working towards. Um, that's all I really get from that, but we'll, we'll clarify. And the outcome is the Queen of Wands. So you're standing full in your power by the end of the week. You're standing in your vibe because the Queen of Wands is your energy, right? So it puts you in a place of power, but it really is, it gets, it gets things moving. It gets your spirit going, it gets fire in your belly. And you know that you are, it's like, it doesn't really matter what people think because you've seen beyond the veil. You see the bigger picture and therefore they might not know, understand it, but you've seen it. So you can see it from the higher perspective. The only trouble is your mind might still be kind of going, yes, but Aries, are you sure? You know, this is not normal, right? So let's clarify. It could also be that with work, that your work is trying to distract your mind and so it's, it's um, taking the... It's using the, was it the, the left hand side of the brain is the logic and the right hand side of the brain is the creative and connecting more to like the intuition. So 
it could be that work is uh, distracting you somewhat, mentally speaking, which could be the challenge with regards to embracing all of these other beautiful energies. Okay, so under the fountain we have Six of Pentacles. Under the Nine of Cups, we have the Magician. Under the Moon, we have the Two of Cups. Under the Seven of Swords, we've got the Page of Swords. Under the Queen of Wands, we've got the Two of Wands. Okay. So the Fountain card, seeing both sides, okay, of reality, we've got the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is usually kind of equal give and take, but in this particular card, he's giving more to one than the other. But you're starting to recognize how that it's not that so-called fairness. So... Let's give uh, uh, an example about this. Say if a parent and they have two children and they give one child, well, they're giving their children pocket money, but they give more to one than the other. And on, um, on face value of that, that looks like to be unfair. But from your perspective, what you know, you're noticing is that one may be in need of more because the other has, so in the grand scheme of things, it is actually balanced, right? give and take the, the energy that you put out is the energy that you get back and also with other relationships that you have around you and even though you feel that maybe someone has taken too much maybe it's because you've given too much and therefore it's still balanced even if it doesn't seem fair it's still balanced because a little bit um kind of and the big bit if they were to balance properly they would be like this right so you're starting to see all of those interconnectedness says right the desire is the nine of cups so the nine of cups represents wish fulfillment okay so whatever you wish for and hope for in a happy heart right this i'm feeling is a lot to do with love okay and connection connection can be it can be love for anything right but it is love and connection being in relationship you're wanting that desire and you're prepared to do whatever it takes to make it happen because we've got the magician over there as well so with both powerful cards over there that would lead me to suggest that you will get your wish fulfillment because it's very positively aspected what's working in your favor is that you you're prepared to go with the flow you're prepared not to know what the future holds okay with the moon card and the two of cups so if you're looking for love or you're looking to reconnect and reunite or take your relationship to the next level it's you are what's really working in your favor is that you don't know what the future holds and you're fine with that you're cool with that and the other person is too even with regards to family member or friend or business partner it could be the same thing working in your favor basically two parties saying you know what this is my skill set this is your skill set these are our traits that's your traits um we know what they are regardless of what happens regardless of what life throws at us right we will be able to we'll make this, we'll, we'll make it because we are connected, we are open, right, and we move with the tide. Now, the only challenge may be that the mind is trying to distract you somewhat. We've got the Page of Swords here with the Seven of Swords, okay? So someone's trying to steal your attention. And when I say someone, that may even be your ego or it could be your work practices. It could also be difficulties with regards to communications and technologies, right? Because we are Mercury retrograde, which does often cause these trip ups, okay? So anything, any important documents that you're dealing with, right? I would just make sure that you back them up or you have copies or you get other people to read over them just to be sure, to be sure. Because it will cause a bit of delays and it will cause a little bit of mm. And it's, not, it's going to distract you from all of this glorious kind of spiritual ascension that you're going through. Now, the outcome of the week is a three of wands. It's clarified by, by the two of wands. So you're now bold and ready to take a new leap of faith. But this is now in a direction of perhaps travel. It's looking at life. It's looking at the wonderment of life. It's looking at that globe, the world card, right? And saying, this is what I've got. I've been on many, many journeys in my life in the past. I'm ready to leave my comfort zone and take and, and focus on my sense of spirit and know that that will see me through. That will take me through to the next level because that is what the connection of oneness all is, of love. Okay, saying, I know my traits, I'm familiar with myself, I know the workings of the universe are all in collaboration and in relationship with one another. So really it comes down to my choice and what I choose to happen and I'm fine with the uh, mystery of it all and the journey and the adventure of it all. 
So it's um, it's a pretty amazing reading gun, Aries. This is this is like big spiritual stuff. Even if you don't, you know, uh, even if you don't sort of see yourself as very spiritual, these are big things that are happening. Big aha moments, shall we say, that you are coming into recognition of, and you are embracing it with beauty, with love. It's amazing. So message from spirit. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. Okay. So understanding the weave of the universe of oneness and interconnectedness can um, shows you your part in it. So even if you've healed a heart and you don't know what the future holds, know that you are absolutely 100% connected. And you're not only connected with your higher self, which is essentially what that's talking about, but you're connected to people in the spiritual realm, past on loved ones, um, your spirit guides. But there's also always a group of people that are here on the earth planet who are in the same mental or spiritual alignment that you are. So it's about seeking out your tribe that works for you. Okay, Because to isolate yourself is not going to... Um, is... is is going to keep you isolated, okay? Connecting with others is going to keep you connected. So it's just it's whatever you focus on. But I feel like you are ready to take the next step and get outside your comfort zone a little bit. Um, decide to put yourself out there more, which is absolutely beautiful. And it feels like you're doing that with zero expectations, which is even better. Because then you are not limiting anything and you're inviting all good stuff to come in. So that's what I have for you. It's a beautiful one, um, Aries. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Um, thank you so much to my subscribers. And um, obviously, if you're new here, totally free to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button. Uh, please comment, share, any of that good stuff. And if you're interested in a personal reading or channeling session, check out my website, robinstain.com. Information is in the description box below. Have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye.